If you have a Fiat or Alfa Romeo, make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain what common mistake people make when working on their airbag systems. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Fiat or Alfa Romeo. And if you need to find where your uh, collision, impact, crash, airbag sensors are located on the phone, Stabilis will explain that in this video today. We will explain common mistake people make when uh, working on the airbag system that can actually cause uh, injuries, damage, even death, guys. So make sure you're uh, qualified and certified. When you work on your airbag system, if you're not qualified and certified, I, I recommend to just stay away from it. Now, before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. Oh, we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out guys the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money. So, with that being said, what we have specifically here. When you work on Fiat or Alfa Romeo guys, practically the same company. They share their platforms owned by Chrysler company. Uh, for instance, that same engine has been used in five different Fiat models and four different Alfa Romeos. You will need to remove your car battery, disconnect it, the minimum, okay? Uh, and you need to disconnect it and let it sit for at least one hour. That way, the airbag module and the car computer will discharge and you will not have electricity in the system. Number two, on these modern cars it really matters which battery terminal you disconnect and reconnect first. If you do it the wrong way, you can cause damage to the engine computer, body control module, components, fuse boxes, and that can be really expensive to fix. So we recommend to check a video which battery terminal to disconnect first. When you do all that, so again, if you're not certified and qualified, don't work on it. But if you come on the radiator support on the back side, you will notice often you have one or two crash airbag sensors. This one has two, most of the cars will have two, one on the driver's side, and we have one on the passenger side, okay, right there. Sometimes they may be behind the bumper on the radiator support on other cars, or on the front side of the radiator support behind the bumper where you cannot see them, but usually the connectors will be yellow on the airbag sensor, so we know it's an airbag sensor. And uh, next guys, okay, uh, disconnecting, all of them will be different, so, uh, if you want to see how to disconnect Fiat airbag sensor, uh, you can find information on our channel, but they have different connectors, different designs, and you need to know how to do them, otherwise you can uh, severely damage them. Hopefully guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time. 